Hey guys, today we get to talk about how to destroy the value of the most expensive Magic the Gathering card, the Black Lotus. So we have a Black Lotus here. There are two major issues with it. I'm going to address the first one, which is the blackening of the border. So this is an unlimited Black Lotus, but to make it seem more pimp, a lot of people will use Sharpie or some type of uh, paint, acrylic paint and colored the border. So the border of this Black Lotus originally was white because it's unlimited. Someone to make it more valuable, to seem more pimp, shaded it in. And a lot of times you see this, I feel like this is the number one way to devalue older unlimited cards or even revised cards. Some people will do that with revised cards. Uh, I don't think it's appropriate and it really doesn't appeal to me at all. So it's called inking and inking devalues the card. Next is an altar. Now having an altar really depends on the artist, depends on the quality, but typically even with the best artists, the card as valuable as, black, as the Black Lotus goes down in price because if you do go sell it, there's going to be a lot less people interested in it. So even if you do an altar of Star Wars, which is extremely popular, it still devalues it because it limits the people who will buy it. More people will buy a regular Black Lotus, uninked, unaltered, than a amazing, no matter how amazing a Black Lotus is, the altar takes away from the audience. In this case, it's My Little Pony, and that's a problem because how many My Little Pony fans are going to pay $3,000? I, I don't know many. I don't know any that have this type of money to buy this card. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to think about it. But essentially, your value of the card is completely diminished in this example because of the inking. Uh, for the unlimited into whatever the beta, I guess you're trying to make it a beta at this point. But also, and more importantly, the altar. Altars are very difficult to sell, they're very difficult to trade, unless it's from someone who is fantastic at it. And even then, depending on the card, you are, once it comes time to try to get rid of the card, the audience for the card is way less than if you just kept it original. The more valuable the card, the more dangerous the altar. So this is how you destroy a $3,000 magic card. Anyway, bye guys.